day 24. That was actually quite pleasant to have in my mouth. Today we're gonna talk about cold showers and why it's a very good idea for you to start taking them. I don't know how many times you've been in the shower and you're fantasizing about this would be so much better if the water was ice cold. I think the answer is quite obvious. But if you start taking cold showers, I can promise you, hands down right now, promise you that you will experience something awesome in your life. Yes. Yes. I haven't taken cold showers for a very long time compared to other people. The thing is, I have I took them for two months daily and I felt an amazing change. I meditated at those times too, right? I meditated, took a cold shower, I did, like everything was part of the morning routine. And I thought meditation was the only answer to why I felt so good. Because meditation is known to have that effect on people. Turns out, it's not only the meditation. No. You see, there was a couple of days, actually there was more, I think it was close to a week, where I didn't have any cold showers. And then I started feeling my energy diminish. And so I wondered, what am I doing wrong? What is happening? Why is it reverting back to the old state I was in? And then it hit me. While I was on YouTube, I just came over this video that said the effects of cold shower. I watched that and I can basically 100% agree with the guy. He said that cold showers changed his life. How is that possible? You might ask, I don't know. I have no idea how cold showers can have such a tremendous effect. I, did I just say tremendous? I think I did. Let's stick with it. When you get into a cold shower and you, you feel that ice water just hitting you, you can't think at all. Basically, you're defaulting to a meditative state. Meditative state. My English is still eluding me. Because you can't think, you focus on breathing. Breathing and then you just change your breathing pattern to... I think it's more of a survival instinct. I have no idea. But you're in there feeling this very unpleasant, by the way. It's not pleasant at all. You're feeling the water on you. You can't breathe. You're struggling to relax, right? But then if you do... So, it's so hard to explain it. You feel this euphoria right away. It's, is it euphoria? I have no idea. I haven't been able to relax all the way. They say that if you have complete control over your mind, you can actually think the water hot. Basically, you can tell your body that this water is not cold, it's hot. And you can feel that. You can change the physiologi physiologi physiology. You can change the physiology in you and feel the water being warm. That is my goal. I have not gotten to that point yet by any means. But when you get out of the shower, if you have stuck it, just spent a couple of minutes in there, right? And you get out into the bathroom, you can feel feel this wave, basically, as you're drying off. You, you, you feel happy. You feel happy. And then when you're done, you just feel like, bring it on. The day is piece of cake. There, there's no problem in just tackling whatever comes. Because you've already done the hardest part of the day. Yeah. So I advise you to start doing cold showers. Now I can see that that is a major ingredient in just making everything better. And it sounds so weird. I know. Don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. Basically, you're one, just tomorrow, tomorrow morning, go into the water, right? At the normal temperature that you usually shower at. Have it warm or hot or whatever. And then you start turning that knob the other way. <laughs> and you feel it getting lukewarm. Now you're just trying to get it colder and colder and colder. And you're basically, your goal is to get all the way down until you can't turn it anymore to the cold side. And when you get there, you'll be surprised that you couldn't make it colder. That's how weird it is. It's so just don't do it all at once, just ease yourself into it, because there's so many people that has gotten really sick by just shocking themselves in the shower, not even... It's like they're forced upon it. That's not good. You have to just go in there with an open mind, think that you're gonna have some benefits from this, and that you really wanna do this just that one time, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe you'll do that for the rest of your life, who knows? Maybe your life changes just doing the cold showers. How awesome would that be? It's like five minutes of your day and you're getting clean at the same time. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm urging you, take that cold shower. <sighs> that's it for today. Now to figure out what to talk about for day 25. Because you know, that's the hardest part about this. It's getting new ideas on a daily basis for a hundred days. And we're just one quarter of the way there with no time whatsoever. That's great. That is great. No pressure. Hashtag no pressure. Just gonna let that cold shower do the work for me. Well, that was a fail. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay cool.
in the shower. <laughs> See what I did there? 